Well, 10 months into the pandemic, confirmed cases within the U.S. Armed Forces has now surpassed 100,000. And now lawmakers are taking a closer look at the vaccination rate within the military. News Nation Washington, D.C. reporter Rashad Hudson has that story. Lawmakers like Alabama Congressman Mike Rogers and Washington Congressman Adam Smith are concerned about the vaccine rate for service members. Obviously at the top, you know, is the protection of the force, um, active duty civilian and uh, guardsmen. It's critical for our national security that every service member as well as DOD civilian personnel and contractors receive vaccines as soon as, soon as possible. Rogers says the fallout from the pandemic could impact troop readiness. This is especially problematic for our service members overseas who rely on international exercises to maintain their proficiency. Pentagon officials told lawmakers that vaccination is still voluntary for service members because the FDA only gave emergency use approval. The Department of Defense says full FDA approval could make it one of its mandatory vaccines troops already receive. DOD has administered approximately 860,000 doses of the vaccine. Robert Solis with the DOD says not only is the department focused on vaccinating their people, but will assist in getting civilians vaccinated as well. DOD with FEMA has developed plans to support vaccine centers able to administer up to 6,000 vaccines a day. Solis says there will be enough vaccines for military personnel by the end of July. In Washington, Rashad Hudson, News Nation.